I got a Trail Boss 250, uh, 91, 92, early 90s. Uh, it's, carburetor is clean, and I believe we have uh, bad crank seals. We've got an air leak. I'm uh, pretty sure the intake boot and everything is fine. I'm pretty sure it's not leaking there. Uh, it's either this side here behind the flywheel or that side there behind the clutch. I'm going to go ahead and start it. You can listen to it run. You can see when I let off the throttle, you could hear it kind of wind out. I'm pretty sure it's got an air leak. Uh, pull the clutch off, pull the rear one off, and then run it. And then you'll want to spray some gas behind there to see if it sucks in the gas and dies down the motor. Uh, I'll show you how to do all that here. I'm going to start by pulling off this outer clutch cover. And you'll want to remove the bolts that hold the fender on. You could probably loosen that one up there because you're going to need to pull all this back um, to get this cover off. Then we'll pull the front clutch off. Then you should be able to see that seal behind there. So with your cover off, I usually remove the belt just by pulling and twisting backwards. Belt's off. Then you'll want to remove clutch. That's a 5 8 5 8 socket, throw it on. Impact it off. You'll need a puller to get the clutch off. Hardened steel rod. Fine thread bolt. Get it at the hardware store. Put that on. Screw it in. Impact it. Clutch will pop right off. Clutches off. Behind your primary clutch, there would be your PTO side crankcase seal, crankshaft seal. You can see it is very wet around the seal, around the crankshaft. Odds are that one leaks. So if you want, you can run your engine, spray some gas around that seal, see if it affects how the engine runs. There you can see I could kill the engine by squirting gas around that seal so we know that seal is sucking in air. So before you remove the seal just go ahead and clean up the area real good. Gas and a rag. There it's cleaned up pretty good. Then I just take a sheet metal screw, any kind of screw, sheet rock screw, whatever it is and uh, take a drill and just Screw it into the side of the seal like that. That's a good idea to remember where your old seal is. You know how far back it is and all that. There the screw is started into the seal. Take a claw hammer, take pliers, whatever you have. Uh, hook it on and pop the seal out. I'm just using a claw hammer 
and that rod that I used to pull the clutch off. You just keep working it until the seal comes out. Here we have it. Seal is out. Looks like it's ripped. It may, I may have ripped it when pulling it off, but it was likely ripped. And that's why it was leaking so badly. Clean everything up, and I'll show you how to install the new seal. And before you install your new seal, just want to kind of inspect your crankshaft for any major wear. You can see there is a line there. You know, it's not it's not grooved out bad. You can't really catch it with your fingernail. It's probably fine to put the seal back, let it run in the same area. Um, otherwise, what you can do is leave the seal out a little bit further or in a little bit further so it runs on a different spot on the crankshaft. But it'll be fine to put it back where it was on this. So when you install the new seal, I put a little... Uh, grease around the inside of this grease it up real good then on the outside. I just put some uh, case sealer Just use some anaerobic case sealer. You could probably use some gasket maker. That'd be fine uh, So we'll get it greased up and we'll get it set in place Then we'll tap it in right where we want it to be There you have it Grease on the inside sealer on the outside ice cream paint job Slide it over the crankshaft And gently tap it into place, put something around the outside, use the old seal, use an old bearing, use a big socket. Just do not bend or damage the seal and you should be good to go. What I end up using here a 32 millimeter inch and a quarter socket, big deep socket. And I was able to slide it on right at perfect size, tap it into place. And we can move over, might as well do the flywheel side. Uh, when you're doing these these uh, crankshaft seals when you're in there doing one you might as well just do them both and uh, go ahead yeah throw your primary clutch on throw your belt on throw your cover back on get this side all wrapped up get it nice and tight get it together flip over to the rewind side we'll pull the flat pull the rewind off pull the flywheel off pull that seal out replace that seal and then uh, both bottom end crankshaft seals will be replaced and this uh, little 250 should have a lot of life left in her. So with the clutch side done, you can now uh, get the seal here behind the flywheel. You want to remove the rewind. That's going to be these back here, not, not these you know four around the rewind it's actually going to be the ones behind it you have to pull the exhaust guard off you get all that pulled out and then I'll show you how to pull the flywheel For that last one, you probably have to unhook this brake lever, brake assembly, so you can flip that back and get to that uh, one in the back. So I'll just remove this clip here, pull the spring off, drop that whole assembly down and get to that last bolt. So you can still bend that up enough. You'll notice the lever does hit on the bottom of the foot, foot wall there, um, but that should be enough. Yeah, the screw out. If your rewind stuck on there really good, you can't pull it off. Just take a rod, and I usually hit on this part, give it a few taps, it should pop right off. After it's tapped loose, you just go ahead and pull it off. You can remove this nut, these bolts here, remove the starter cup, and then pull your flywheel. Then you don't need a puller for the flywheel. Your bolts go with it. These are, looks like, 6mm bolts. I'll hook all that up. 
impact the flywheel off, we should be able to get to that seal. With the puller on and the impact plugged in, hit it till it pops out. There it's off. Flywheel's off. Last thing you want to do, remove the stator. Give me that screw there. And that screw there. You should be able to pull the stator back and get to the seal. So very similar to the other side, you just want to pull the stator back. Be careful with the wires back there not to pull them apart. Um, you may need to pull you know, back there to give it some extra slack. Clean everything up good. The gas in a brush, gas in a rag, and go ahead and screw into this seal. Then pull it out. Seal is out. You can see there it looks like it was probably missing some of the rubber. This side was probably also leaking. And clean everything up really good. And we'll install the seal on this side and then throw everything back together. Now you're prepped and ready. Now you can install your new seal, grease the inside, put some sealer on the outside, slide it over the crankshaft, tap it into place. This one pretty much put flush. Uh, with this here. There, the seal is pounded into place. It's flush here with this outside. Throw your stator on and throw your flywheel on. Works out good to torque this down. Long bolt, long rod, through the starter cup against uh, part of the frame where the foot pedal pivots. And then you can go ahead and put your socket on, put your uh, torque wrench on, torque down uh, for this 250, 44 to 62 foot pounds. There the cover is on, foot pedal back installed, through the air box on, we'll fire it up, see how it runs.